Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am in the mood to make a boat. So let's get cracking. Friends, first things first, I'm on my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing lessons, including some other beginner lessons. And then also, friends, if you ever want to reach out to me, there is a sweet built-in message until you can click that button, add your information, hit send, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. It is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Friends, when you sign into Tinkercad, I always choose login and sign in with Google. Once there, friends, we need to hit create new design. Today I'm going to make a boat. Let's click up here and name it boat. I'm going to put my initials and I've done this once or twice. So I'm going to put V4 just so I can keep track of which is which. Friends, the first part we need for building a boat is a hull. So if we click over here on search and type boat, check it out when you press enter there is a boat hull notice i have also hit the star because i like to have it as a favorite that way it's easier for me to find from here on out i can just instead of basic shapes go to favorites and there it is now when you bring this out it has parameters right now it is 50 50 50 20 for the beam 20 for the depth i want my stern the back of the boat to be a little less so i'm going to type 20 and press enter you can stretch and adjust these, but it breaks the parameters, so that's why I like to type them. I'm going to go to the beam, and I want to make it 30, and press enter as well. And that is going to be what I make my ship out of. All right, friends, let's hollow our boat out. Check this out. We're going to do Control-D, which is duplicate. We're going to hold down Alt and Shift, and we're going to make this a little bit smaller. So I went from 20 to 18. I'm going to make it a hole. I want to bring these two so they're aligned. I'm going to go align. I'm going to make the gray one the master and choose center and center. And I want to move it to the top. So you can see that is going to cut out and it's going to leave a cut out hull. Now I want to use this again in a moment. So I'm going to click on this one. Notice you can make it easier by hiding this quickly. I'm going to do control D and I'm going to just move this one across so I can use it later. This one's going to be a solid. Let's bring back everything, take these two, and hit group. Boom. You have now got the cutout for the interior of your hull. Now I want to create the piece that's in here, but sink it in. Check this out. Back to basic shapes. Bring back a hole. We're just going to use the black handle to stretch it past so it is larger than our hole design. You can get it as close as you want. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to create a deck by moving this down. So I'm cutting at that height. That's where the deck will come in. I'm going to click on this and do duplicate, which is control D and then control up arrow to raise it up. Notice we have a sliver in between. That's going to be our deck. If you want to make this a little closer, you can, it really doesn't matter. We're just going to select those three pieces. Notice it says three and we hit group. These two holes cut that apart. Now, when we slide it over, it fits perfectly inside our adorable little ship how cool is that so friends this is where it gets really really epic you need to start thinking about what kind of ship you want to make a tugboat a sailboat a fishing boat any kind of craft that you think is cool i think i'm going to make a sportsman boat or a fishing boat a lot like this and i'm just going to do it a little bit at a time the next thing for me would be to add that little cab up top we're going to do that by putting the work plane right here, bringing out a cube. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to shrink it so it fits. That looks pretty good. People will be able to walk around it. I'm going to select everything, choose a line, and I want to make sure that I click the hull and say I want it in the middle. So that's where it's going to be. Now I need to cut out the walls. Once again, control D to duplicate. I'm going to lift it up so you can see it. I'm going to hold down alt and shift and I'm going to shrink it a little. So mine was 16. I'm going to change this to 14 and press enter and you can see it fits in there really nice because I did alt shift. It stays in the middle. If you happen to have lost that, you can just click a line, make the red one your boss and get them back to middle. Now we want to cut this out. So we're going to make it a hole and I want to make sure it goes all the way to the top. So I stretched it long and I'm going to press D to drop. When I take those two and group it, you can see that I now have got a cabin and I just need to add windows. 
we're going to do the windows like this bring out another cube i'm going to let you pick your own measurements lift it up so it's sitting in there the way that you want so i'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it back and you can see i can push it down or use the handle to get it exactly the way i want the window on my ship to be i'm going to take those two notice it says three so i didn't select it correctly i'm going to select it from this angle now i've got two and i'm going to group those to cut it out i want to put windows on the side so check this out so this time i'm going to put the work plane on the side i'm going to bring out the whole box i'm going to get it close to where i want it and i'm going to just nudge it with the black handles i always like the black handles because they're one at a time the white handles are two at a time if you're ever not happy just do undo now because of that work plane i can push it through this time friends we're going to cut two at once once again i select and grab the two hit group and boom we've got windows all the way around now here's a sweet trick if i double click i am editing it and i can bring those windows down to the exact spot i want after i'm done and when i click out here boom it recuts them isn't that awesome now friends i want to cut in a door right here we're going to do that by putting the work plane on this spot bringing out the rectangle hold down shift and i'm going to tell you to shrink it down to something like six notice that fits pretty good but we need to make it taller and then i want to put an arch on top of it or a half roof so i'm going to put the work plane right here and i'm going to bring out the round roof now when the round roof comes in it's rotated the wrong way we need to click on this right here and we need to rotate it 90 degrees i prefer typing it because that gets it exactly right the first time and then we need to change the measurements i'm going to tell you to hold shift and i'm going to tell you to grab one of these corners and i want you to type six because remember that is the size of our cube we need to make it a hole and we need to align them we're going to hold shift and we're going to click on our cube and then when you hit a line let's look at it from a corner so it's real easy to see we want middle and we want middle when you hit those two dots you can see from every side they're lined up and we want to make them a group now we can use the arrow key to nudge it into our door space you can put it wherever you want if you wanted to make it a little bigger now would be a time you can adjust it so it looks exactly how you want and then when you're happy i'm going to select those two click a line click a line and i want to group it to cut it out friends let's put that work plate back down on the ground and check out the cabin on our sweet little fishing boat or whatever kind of boat you are creating i'm going to change its color i want to make it white i'm going to change the bottom of mine and i'm going to make it blue i'm going to take the deck and i'm going to make it red just because it's kind of fun to have all these awesome colors let's quickly put a roof on our boat once again i'm going to do work plane and set it right on top i'm going to bring out this cube notice that cube fits pretty nice i'm going to just shrink it and we're going to use another feature called radius i want you to type two and press enter notice how that rounds it i'm going to instead try four and see if i like that better i do think that's pretty cool and then i'm going to grab that rotation handle and i just want to rotate a couple degrees so that it's got a fancy angle and then i'm going to do control down to nudge it into place that looks pretty neat but i'm going to change my nudge to 0.5 and do control up and i like that just a little better i'm going to put the work plane back on the ground hold down shift click on the cabin so we've got our two shapes and then make the cabin the boss and choose middle so that it's all aligned let's quickly add a propeller once again we're going to go back to search and this time i want you to type gear and press enter there are lots of gears that may show up we are looking for one called a pro gear notice it did not show up so i'm going to instead type pro gear boom there is my pro gear and i have added a favorite to it now when we bring this out we're going to change some numbers and it's important that you do it like this we want the teeth to be three we want to then change the teeth base height to six and press enter so this makes it so it looks a little bit like a propeller watch this if you come down to helical angle and type 30 and press enter boom 
after it renders, you have got your own fancy propeller. I'm going to squish it so it's a little thinner. And that is pretty darn slick and efficient. I'm going to make it a gray and I'm going to add a post to it really quick. So let's close that, bring out a cylinder, hold down shift and shrink it to crazyville. I'm going to go all the way down to size three. I'm going to put my grid back to size one just because I'm here. I'm going to put that in place and let's make sure it's aligned by grabbing those two, choosing a line, picking a boss, center, center. I'm going to make this one a dark gray and take those two and make them a group. When that's completed, I can look at it from an angle and I want to rotate it. I want to rotate it on this angle right here. So that'll be where it goes. I'm going to move it to the back of my boat and I'm going to put it under the water and I'm going to just nudge it into place. And then I'm going to do a line to get those so they're centered. So I've clicked the boat and I want to use the middle on the boat just like that. Now that propeller is pretty big. Let me show you this. If we do alt shift and we shrink it this way, we can get it to the exact size that would fit our boat. And because we were holding alt and shift, it goes right around the middle. How cool is that? Now friends, we're making our own awesome boats. Remember I was making this boat and I just added the cool cabin. I did my engine down below, but you could use that same trick to build the parts to have this engine up above as well. I wanna add some safety features up here on the front. So I'm gonna put the work plane up here and I wanna bring out another cylinder. Once again, I'm gonna do that shift squeeze trick and make it tiny. And when it's the right size, I'm gonna add a little pole right here on the edge of my ship. Notice if you can't get it exactly where you want, switch your nudge. Now I can move it over till I'm exactly happy. I'm gonna make it a little thinner by doing shift squeeze a little more. I like that. I'm going to make it a cool gray for my ship. And then I'm going to click on that. I'm going to still nudge down to 0.25 so I can get it exactly where I want. Get the height exact. And now, friends, I'm going to do Control D. And I'm just going to nudge that one out and over a little. Now, if you don't touch anything else, you can do Control D again and again. And it will try and nudge out at the same distance to line them up. Now, notice they didn't move far enough. So then what I'm going to do is just use my over keys on each one to get them exactly where I want. Now the really cool part about this friends is once you're done, you'll be able to make a copy of these on the other side. You do want to make sure that you double check when you zoom in on this to make sure that you actually hit them right because sometimes your angles will be a little bit off and you may want to change them. So I'm going to hide the bottom of my ship real quick. I'm going to grab all those. So notice I just got the top and I'm going to do duplicate course that's control D I'm gonna flip them over here I'm gonna nudge them across I can do shift nudge to nudge them even faster and then we're gonna use flip and nudge them back to the right spot you can double check by hitting show all to bring them all back and boom there are my cool rails on my ship quickly put the work plane back on the ground I'm gonna use another fun tool to actually put little ropes between them Let's put the work plane on the edge of our cabin. Bring out a chunk of scribble and just draw a little loop of what we're gonna call rope. If you don't like what you did, just hit clear and try again. When you're done, hit done. Make it really skinny. I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna shrink it so it's thinner. Notice I just wanted to go down to this spot right here. I'm gonna make it a yellow. That's my rope color in my head. And then I'm gonna use a line. So I'm gonna do shift select this post and I want it to align to this post and I want it to be on the top and then I want it to be towards the middle if I can hit it. Now that I've got that lined up, I'm gonna squish it to the exact size I want. And just like that, we've got it in place. I'm gonna put my work plane back on the ground and I'm gonna adjust that just a tiny bit so I'm happy. I'm going to nudge it over and then I'm just going to do control D nudge the new one out when I get it to the end where I want it I'm going to custom rotate it and I'm going to do that all the way down the project duplicate nudge when I'm happy control D 
you can see that they change each time but that's no big deal it only takes a second to get the whole rope all the way across your cool ship once i like i said earlier though do make sure you double check from all angles to make sure that you've got it connected when you've got them so you're happy don't forget you can do shift select one two three four five do control d i'm going to shift nudge to the other side and then if we use that flip tool we should be able to just flip them and then nudge them into place you can see i got one extra pipe there that's actually kind of nifty because it helped me get them to the exact right spot of course i did miss this one over here instead i got the pipe i'm going to just do Control d and nudge it across till i've got it exactly where i want don't forget when you do though you need to do that flip to line it up how sweet is that let's quickly add a steering wheel inside here i'm going to first put the work plane on this edge i will bring out the wedge i want to rotate it 90 degrees so I'm just dragging it. Notice if I come outside the circle, it's one degree at a time. If you stay inside the inner circle or close to the shape, it snaps at 22 and a half degrees at a time. I'm gonna hold down shift and shrink it till it's the size I want. And then I'm just going to nudge it into place. Remember shift nudge is faster. So there is the console. I will do control down to shrink it a little bit in. Let's use F to fit view. That's a great way to zoom. And I'm gonna pick the size that I want. I think that's pretty nifty. For the next part of this, friends, let's hide both of these pieces. They'll still be there, but they'll be out of the way for a minute. And let's put the work plane on that blue wedge. We're going to search for an awesome shape called the wheel. Friends, when you bring out this wheel, set it right there. We're gonna switch to wheel style five. Notice this, it looks a little bit like a captain's wheel. We're gonna change the depth to two. We're gonna keep the 20 for the rim depth. We're gonna go two for the borehole, two for the tire width, and two for the edge radius. We're gonna change it to a brown, and we're gonna hold down Alt-Shift, and we're gonna shrink it so it's small enough to be the wheel in this ship. If you do F to zoom in, you can see that looks pretty good. We'll get it close to aligned, and friends, we need to put it on a post. We're going to do that by returning to our basic shapes, bringing out a cylinder. Once again, it's huge, so we're going to zip out. We're going to do shift shrink, F to fit view, make it longer. And then friends, we can click on our ship's wheel and do control up arrow to raise it up to the height you want. I'm going to take this post and do control down arrow to push it in. Notice because we had the work plane right here, that's why those ups and downs worked the way we wanted to. I'm going to take this and make it a different color brown just so it has some cool texture. I think I'm also push it out so it kind of looks like a horn. If we hit bevel and change it to two, it even makes it nice and rounded. I do want to make the segments five though, so that's even a little bit cooler. Friends, if we hit show all all right everybody i am going to quit on this and let you guys start making your own awesome ones don't forget as you're playing make sure you add characters all kinds of things to make sure these look as awesome as you can when you bring stuff in don't forget to hold shift and don't forget to get them at the size that fits for your project friends there is so much more room for you guys to have fun and make this the most awesome ship ever if you do make something awesome friends don't forget you can click this button generate a link and you can reach out and share it with me i am hl mod tech on facebook instagram gmail and tiktok you can also find me on twitter i am hl tinkercad if those options don't work for you don't forget you can also visit my website hlmodtech.com i've got a page dedicated to tinkercad with tons of amazing lessons i also have the sweet built-in messaging tool you can click that add your information and reach out to me all almost instantly friends i also want to highlight the tinkercad community discord it is a fantastic place to talk everything tinkercad finally friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech of course if you got a question comment or suggestion add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech Thanks for watching. Have a great day.